good morning children um today we'll uh, start a lesson a voice to brobding nag um uh, if you are reading some stories then you might have read some uh, story about magical place now this story is also about a magical land which was inhabited by giant sized people and uh, gulliver um, who is a sailor uh, one of the sailor he has uh, visited that land actually what happened that uh, when he was uh, um, sailing in the sea he his uh, sea met with uh, a storm and he, the the ship was completely battered or destroyed uh, then in order to repair his ship the they all uh, gulliver along with his sailors other sailors uh, they went to a um, to an island there when they when um, there uh, the, the, his uh, friends um, after repairing the ship they all returned back except gulliver gulliver was left in that land and um, there he experience he had an experience with giants and uh, this which is shared in this story a voice to brobding nag it has been adapted from the book gulliver's travel um, the crew and gulliver uh, made their way into an island brobding nag so that they may repair the ship now to their surprise the island was inhabited by giants gulliver is taken by a farmer Uh, to be the plaything or toy for his daughter you know this uh, people are 40 feet tall and uh, when gulliver is himself 6 feet tall and uh, when uh, this uh, when he met with uh, these giants he is like a toy and uh, these uh, um, 40 feet uh, large giant sized people uh, when they saw gulliver uh, this farmer he was seeing his size he was very uh, attracted and he carried away it was a good new experience for him so he carried away gulliver to his home there um, the farmer's daughter uh, she liked gulliver and um, she took gulliver and kept it as a doll with her and looked after took good care of gulliver now see the chapter my mistress had a daughter who was 9 years old she was very dexterous at her needle work and skillful in dressing her doll her mother and she arranged a doll's cradle for me for the night the cradle was put into a small drawer of a cabinet and the drawer was placed upon a hanging shelf for fear of rats see these um, this uh, when uh, this uh, girl uh, she got when she got gulliver then she had to take care of the, uh, the of gulliver what did she do uh, she made number of uh, dresses for gulliver and uh, uh, which was he there about four to five shirts she made and uh, now she kept this uh, gulliver in a cradle jula understood in a doll's cradle uh, her uh, doll was of the height of gulliver only and uh, in that cradle she uh, kept it and uh, for that night now actually that cradle was put in a small drawer of a cupboard in inside a cupboard uh, drawers are there and that cradle was put in that cupboard or cabinet and this drawer was placed Uh, upon a hanging shelf so that the rats will not harm gulliver now you can imagine how big the rats might be in this giant land and this um, hanging shelf uh, within that hanging shelf uh, that uh, cradle was his bed and gulliver stayed with those people um, i stayed with those people though it was made more convenient as i began to learn their language and make my wants known 
and uh, he began to learn their language also and uh, whatever he needed how he will express so he started expressing his needs to the giant in their language he cannot speak his own language no he has to learn their language so that they can understand what he wants so gradually uh, gulliver started learning their language <laughs> the young girl was very helpful to me she made me seven shirts and some other clothes of as a of as fine a material as could be got which was in fact coarser than sackcloth sackcloth you know it was even um, means um, it, it was not so fine cloth the cloth was very coarse of that cloth she made dresses of gulliver she was these clothes with her own hands she was likewise my teacher to teach me their language when i pointed to anything she told me the name of it in her own language so that in a few days i was able to call for whatever i wanted she was very good natured and not more than 40 feet tall see this uh, girl took a good care of gulliver she washed uh, his clothes with her own hand she also was his teacher as she taught her um, their language and um, whatever gulliver needed she fulfilled gulliver's need she was very good natured and not more than 40 feet tall being short of her age she gave me the name gilric which the family used and later the whole kingdom now gilric was gulliver's name which um, gradually uh, the family members called him gilric and after that the whole kingdom called gulliver with that name actually the word means mannequin means small sized man a short heighted man in english the word means mannequin we never parted while i was there we never parted we stands for whom we stands for both gulliver and um, that mistress daughter that girl and i was there i called her my glumdal clitch or little nurse so gulliver also gave a name to that girl that was glumdal clitch which means a little nurse it now began to be known and talked about in the neighborhood that my master had found a strange animal in the fields now this uh, gulliver's existence became a talk among the neighbors neighborhood now uh they started speaking that um gulliver uh, that uh, that master has brought a gulliver uh, they have brought a gulliver who looks like uh, splacknock and uh, they have it is a strange uh, it is like a strange animal in the fields now like that a talk um, started spreading among the among in the neighborhood now which resembled a strange animal about the size of splacknock splacknock is a um, 6 feet uh, long animal okay then um, gulliver was just like that splacknock splacknock is uh, it uh, it has a uh, some it looks like human being it is shaped like a human being um, and gulliver looked like that splacknock only but exactly shaped like a human being which imitated in all its actions it seemed to speak in a little language of its own and had already learned several several words of theirs it went erect on its legs was tame and gentle would come when it was called see these kind of talks are were spreading that uh, um, master brought a uh, one animal which uh, which is the size of which has which is just uh, the size of a splacknack only and that 
um, that uh, animal used to uh, speak their language also uh, it was um, walking erect on its own leg and it was tame gentle when we when they call them it, uh, that animal comes and um, it obeys them also this kind of talks was spread among in the neighborhood was tame and gentle would come when it was called do whatever it was bid and had a complexion fairer than a nobleman's daughter of 3 years old now they also talked about the uh, his complexion also how he looked now another farmer a friend of my master came on a visit to find out the truth of the story now this story spread uh, among the people now one of the farmer who was Uh, Gulliver's master's friend. He came to um, their house to know the fact whether the story is really true or not. And see, when this man came, immediately Gulliver was produced on the table. I was immediately produced and placed on a table where I walked as I was commanded. I paid my respect to my master's guest, asked him in his own language how he was and told he was welcome just as my little nurse had instructed me this man who was old and dim sighted dim sighted means uh, his uh, vision was not so good he had to wear glasses put on his spectacles to see me better at which i could not help laughing very heartily for his eyes appeared like a full moon shining into a chamber through two windows now which are the two windows those uh, man's spectacles you can see in the picture you see how he is looking and uh, he is trying to uh, see gulliver from very from from near how he is holding his spectacle and he is watching gulliver and gulliver when he saw this man looking at him like this he remembered Uh, that as if his eyes those eyes of the man were the two moons and uh, these two moons were peeping through the windows windows refers to those uh, uh, big uh, spectacles see frame of the spectacle was like a window and his eyes were like um, uh, two moons so this made him laugh now see laughing very heartily now heartily is that verb here which uh, qualify which qualifies laughing you can underline it for his eyes appeared like a full moon shining into a chamber through two windows other people laughed too when they discovered the cause of my mirth mirth means laughter but the old man was angry he became very angry because people are laughing gulliver is laughing he was a miser and to my misfortune he advised my master to display me on market day in the next town see this man was very cunning he was very business minded man he advised gulliver's master that you can earn money so display him on market day and you will get lot of money because people will come to see this uh, strange animal and then uh, he will get money for that when glumdal flitch heard of this plan she laid me on her chest and began to cry she felt worried that harm would be done to me by some crude people who might squeeze me to death or break one of my limbs by taking me in their hands she felt it was an indignity to me to be exposed for money as a public spectacle to the people you see here indignity means humiliating treatment and you see public spectacle here what is this the thing which is shown to the people now spectacle means some unusual situation that attracts interest or attention it is a public spectacle uh, here publicly gulliver is shown to everybody here 
when this advice was given uh, by this farm, farmer's friend to the farmer, Glumdal Klitsch was very worried. She was very sad because she thought that if Gulliver is displayed like this, then um, somebody may harm him also. Somebody may squeeze him. Somebody may try to uh, touch him and break his limbs also. So, and these people are very, really, very giant. And even if they hold Gulliver, even nobody can save him. So, she was very worried. She thought that it was indignity. This humiliating treatment done, treatment done to Gulliver, Gulliver as he was exposed for money. She was not happy with this. Following the advice of his friend, my master carried me in a box to the next market day to the neighboring town and took along with him his little daughter, my nurse on the pillion behind him. Pillion is a place behind a, a person um, who is riding motorcycle or cycle. There, a person is riding and behind that person there is a seat where Glumdal Klitsch was sitting and Gulliver was kept in a box and that box was placed on the lap of his mistress. daughter. The box was closed on every side with a little door for me. See how the box is described. The box was closed from every side. But there was a little door for Gulliver to go in and out and a few holes to let in air. The girl had been thoughtful enough to put her doll's quilt into it. Into it. Now see, the girl was very thoughtful. She loved Gulliver and uh, she always thought about his benefit, his convenience, his comfort. So she placed uh, her daughter's quilt into it. So that at least Gulliver can lie on it. However, I was terribly shaken by the end of the journey. Gulliver was shaken. Shake, shook, shaken. Shaken is the past participle of shake. Now, for because they were riding on a horse, and behind that uh, her father, that girl was sitting. <coughs> and for the horse went about forty feet at every step the horse was um, trotting the, the you can imagine how giant that horse would be and when that horse was trotting it was jumping about 40 feet high and uh, it was very difficult for gulliver to tolerate that kind of uh, climbing step but the horse went about 40 feet at every step and trotted so high that the movement was equal to the rising and falling of a ship in a great storm. When the horse was trotting, it was as if um, the ship is rising and falling in a great storm. And the entire body of Gulliver was paining. My master arrived at an inn and after consulting the innkeeper, hired the town crier to give notice through the town of a strange creature to be seen at the inn. Now, they, uh, means, uh, they all went, they hired an inn. They are, the um, innkeeper is also there who takes care of the inn, that inn. And uh, they are, um, town crier was also hired who announced in the town that um, a strange creature has come and those who want to see can uh, visit a part this particular inn at this time and then they can see that strange animal. A and uh, this town crier gave a notice through the town of a strange creature through, through the town of a strange creature to be seen at the inn not as big as a splat knock. And this strange creature is just, uh, it is not even bigger than a splatna. And in every part of the body, resembling a human being, which could speak several words and perform a hundred entertaining tricks, 
the message was given to people announcement was done that um, those who want to see a strange creature they can visit the inn and that strange creature um, is not uh, bigger than was not smaller than us not bigger than us black nut and in um, and he resembles a human being and that uh, and even he can speak words and perform hundred entertaining tricks now the people were were very attracted so they all visited i was placed on a table in the largest room of the inn now people came to that inn to visit gulliver and he gulliver was played, placed on a large table in a large room in a big table my little nurse stood on a stool close to the table to take care of me and direct what i should do to avoid a crowd my master would only allow 30 people at a time to see me now 30 people were allowed to see one by one means one group group by group they allowed and one group consisted of 30 people i walked about on the table as the girl commanded she asked me questions as far as she knew my understanding of the language reached and i answered them as loudly as i could i paid my respect to the gathering several times and made some other speeches that i had been taught now he gulliver was placed on a table now he started showing some tricks he started speaking something he paid uh, his respect to the ga- gathering and then he spoke something loudly also now whatever speeches was taught to gulliver by um, his uh, by that girl gulliver delivered those speeches i took up a thimble filled with a drink now thimble you can see when um, we generally tailors wear it on their uh, fingertips to avoid that pricking of the needle that that much big that was a glass like thing in which a drink was given to gulliver i took up a thimble filled with a drink which glumdal clitch had given me as a cup and drank to their health my nurse gave me a part of a straw part of a straw a nurse gave and he played with that straw he treated that straw as if it was a pike means a small fish that day i was shown to 12 sets of people 12 sets one set consisted of 30 people and forced to do the same act still i was half dead with weariness and annoyance he was weariness was tired and he was entirely annoyed annoyed now um weariness is abstract noun here and annoyance is also abstract noun he was entirely annoyed annoyed is verb annoyance is noun my master would not allow anyone to touch me except my nurse except t except as two meaning one is a c c e p t another is e x c e p t so meaning is one except a c c e p t means to accept something to agree with something now this except means this Means uh, they are not including, not including. Now my master would not allow anyone to touch me. He will not. He the master did not allow anybody to touch Gulliver except my nurse. Means only nurse can touch. To prevent danger, benches were put around the table to keep me out of everybody's reach. See, you can see the picture. How it the Gulliver Gulliver was. arrange there however a school boy aimed a hazelnut now hazelnut is as big as a pumpkin they are hazelnut at my head which very narrowly missed me now gulliver was about to struck with a pumpkin but uh, narrowly he escaped for this he scolded and sent out of the room for this he was scolded that boy was scolded and he was sent out of the room i was so tired with my first journey and with entertaining 
people for eight hours together that I could hardly stand on my legs or speak a word. It was at least three days before I recovered my strength. I had no rest at home either as all the neighboring people hearing of my fame came to see me at my master's house. Now, even people also visited master's house. At my end, my master demanded the rate of a full moon whenever he showed me to the people. Therefore, for some time I had little rest during the week, although I was not carried to the town. Although he was not carried to the town, uh, he got little rest because at home also people started visiting him. Finding how profitable I was likely to be, my master resolved to carry me to the most important cities of the kingdom. Now his master was very greedy man. He understood that how much money I can he can earn from Gulliver. So again he went to different um, cities, important cities of the kingdom. Having provided himself with all things necessary for a long journey and settled his affairs at home, he took leave of his wife. Now, for a long journey he went. He will have he will visit number of cities there. And uh, he settled every matter in his home. And then they all started with the journey. On the 17th of August, about two months after my arrival, we set out for the metropolis. My master made his daughter Glumdal Glitch ride behind him. She carried me on her lap in a box tied about her waist. We traveled distances of not more than a hundred miles a day for Glumdal Klitsch on purpose to comfort me, complained she was tired with the trotting of the horse. Actually, Glumdal Klitsch started complaining his father that she was tired, but actually uh, she was thinking about Gulliver because how, how much tired Gulliver will be. And uh, instead of saying that Gulliver is tired, she was telling that she is tired. She often took me out of my box at my own desire to give me air and show me the country, but always show me the country, but always held me fast by lead strings. Now, she often took him out and also then inside. On our journey, we passed many rivers, broader and deeper than Nile or the Ganges. We traveled for 10 weeks before we arrived at the metropolis, called in their language Lor, Lor Brulgrad or Pride of the Universe on the 26th day of October. Now, like this, they had a long journey of 10 weeks. You can imagine how much tired Gulliver might be and uh, then finally they reached that metropolis and uh, there they had again they had a show so now if you have understood the lesson uh, read the lesson thoroughly i will send you the answers so if you want you can write your own answers also no problem and uh, my this chapter one is over and the next I will give you the answers of these chapters. Really. Okay. And uh, write all the meanings in your copy. And then the question answer, whatever I will give you. Write all the answers in a beautiful handwriting. As I have said you, don't write in a bad handwriting. I will not check it. I will give you the copy back. So write whatever I give you, write in a very good handwriting. And write very carefully without any spelling mistake or without any mistake. Okay, then first you will write the meaning, then question answer. And you can write about the author also. First of all, author, then meaning, then question answer. Okay, thank you very much. May God bless you.